Hi everyone, so today I'm going to make a little file um, out of a piece of card. I'm going to show you how I make this. So getting straight on with it, I'm going to cut a three inch piece off this A4 piece of card. piece to one side like this is what I'm going to make the little folder file out of I'm going to fold it let's say smaller so roughly roughly about three inches folder there we go. just press down there then I am going to fold it across this way again just press that down now this is the way it's going to open up like that so I'm going to cut off this excess piece just going to fold it back just so I know if you where to give that a cut I'm going to keep those pieces of card because I'm going to use those again in a minute. So this is how it's going to be. Um, I'm going to use a tie on the outside. But on the inside, I am going to put some little pockets in it and possibly a little notebook. So first of all, I'm going to ink it. I'm going to also trim the corners and do rounded corners on the folded out parts i'm not going to do where there's a fold i'm just going to do these outer edges as uh, rounded just think that's a nice nice finish on it <clears throat> Make sure you keep it the right way because this fold will be slightly bigger. Okay, so now I'm just going to use vintage photo and I'm going to go all around the edges and just distress it all. along the folds as well. I just think they look really nice when they're inked up and you unfold them. They just look really nice. It stands them out. on some of the pages on this I'm going to ink uh, do a stamp on them I'm going to do the insides as well um, so that it really shows up when you're opening it up 
these are really simple to make they're not difficult at all they're quite quick and they make good little extra writing spaces and to put into your journal Nearly there. Okay, one more. Okay, so that's the edges inked up. going to open like this so I'm going to I think first of all I'm going to sort this piece out I'm going to make a little tear out notebook to go in that center piece so I've got some coffee dyed paper here that I made two sheets so if I fold them in half length ways doesn't matter if they're not exactly lined up just do a little line up and I'm just going to mark the width that I want with my pencil which has again disappeared there it is you have such a small space to work in and yet lose everything so I'm just going to go on the inside of that fold there and I'm going to do this oh my god it's just quicker I'm just going to do it by eye that bit out Spare. okay so that's a width sorted out now the length of it if we fold it again line them up <coughs> close to as fold it in half this way let's leave a little bit of don't want it too big about there <coughs> excuse me and then we're going to pop it out. I'm going to leave in the folded edge at the top I'm going to leave that folded if there's no reason why not to down and cut that right so those bits are spares and they'll be good for making the little dangles on the um, paper clips that I do so that's a little notebook pretty much made there I'm just going to staple them at the top and then I'm going to cover them with a little bit of lace just to hide the staples because I don't like to see staples on my work it's just a personal preference that is that's secured all the pages together to tear off let's put some little lace trim here okay let's just cut a piece it's going to be long enough to just cover the top there where the staples are it's fine stick that down with a bit of fabric tack just put a line of glue along the little lace piece that 
on the top there just covers those staples we're sticking the back of it down so it doesn't matter about the back that's absolutely fine before I stick that down though I think I'm going to stamp this so let me get a I think we'll do a do some letters the handwriting one I'm going to do it in black so it stands out just darken that up a little bit more the vintage photo stamp all of this as a backing for the little notebook I think that'll look really really nice I tried to move it about a bit so it doesn't all look like it's repeated although that does look repeated <laughs> uh, let's do this side up there okay make sure it's definitely the right way and now I'm going to stick the little notebook down let's just trim these edges off that's going to be stuck into the middle there okay let's put a bit of glue along the back like a little block of glue just it's well secured down but these are little notes that you can just tear off or leave in really it really doesn't matter and let's pop that down there and on there I'm going to put a little stamp I think that down for a second yeah. and then in that I'm just going to use my letters um, let's write in there because I think this will look really cute notes you could use a word stick a word on there if you've got one printed off write it on there yourself I just really like doing these little stamps I just think they look lovely and, okay. so that's the middle section done now on this side I'm going to put two little pockets I think this is the cutoff that I had and they are the perfect size for a couple of little pockets. I'm going to cut those approximately two inches I think. If I do two, two inches, get my cutter. I 
so I need to get a bigger desk. This is my daughter's old dressing table that I'm using. Which is look, it's nice and wide, but it is not very deep. Okay, so let's line these up and I'm going to make two at two inches. Keep that because I'm going to do another pocket using those as well. This is all just using one piece of card, that is the idea anyway. These are going to go here and here. So I'm going to use my three inch circle cutter just to put a curve in them and it is a case of doing it by eye. I don't measure I literally just cut by eye. Try and get it central. I sort of lining it up with the edges of there because that's roughly where it sits. Not putting it in too far. In there. Okay. Now I'm going to ink the edges of these, but because I've done this in the brown, I'm going to go with black I think and really make that stand out. Okay. Before we do that let's just go around just darken this up a little bit more. Just makes everything stand out that little bit better I think. That motley look. There we go. So using, I'll use black soot uh, on these little ones. I'm just going to go around the edges of them just to make them stand out and pop against the backing. Okay, so we'll stick those two, those two down like that, I think. I'm going to use fabric tack to stick these down. I want them to stick well. You could use Scotch um, glue stick, but I just find that fabric tack just really grips well. Especially when you're putting things in and out of them, with them being little pockets. It's just grabs. Grabs well. Excess off the edges. And let's pop that one down about there. Don't want to put it too high because you've got to put the one above it. You don't want them right at the very, very top, otherwise you won't fit anything in them. Let's press that down. We'll do the same with the other. Okay. Get the excess glue off the edge. And my fingers are covered in it. down just above it so we've got a little bit of room at the top still but a gap between them if you've got some glue on there just give it a little rub and then it'll come off there we go right I'm going to decorate those up uh, what do I have stag stamp there 
I think I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use that on there. This I can use the Scotch glue stick to stick this one down. It's quite nice. I like that. This is for the uh, for the Voyager journal. And then I wonder if I've got a postal stamp anywhere that I could just okay, there's a bit of one in here actually. I can just ink that area up. Just ink. That's just that bit there. That one there. That bit there. So if I was to do that, that one there, that's that. That's that bit there. And on the top one, shall I get it with on the top one? I think we'll do a little bit of some. What do we have? I have all sorts of little bits and bobs over here. Bits of fabric, bits of lace. They're good to have just at hand. Maybe a little bit of. A little bit of lace or something there. It's a bit long. Do that a bit smaller. Do the fabric on the top. Maybe stamp that. Yeah, do that. Okay, I've got some glue that's overspilled there. So yet again, I forgot to put the Stop her back in it. Oh, lumpy bit there. I'm so bad at remembering to put the stopper in. Now I'm covered in glue. Let's see what else. What else do we have here? I keep my lace in these little bags and then it's rolled up and you just pull a piece out as you need it. It is so handy. There, I think so. So I'm just going to go over that with a bit of glue. There. So it's overhanging. Try to get it to stick down and not to my fingers. There we go. And I'll do the same again with this one. A little bit of scotch glue. Again, just bring it forward slightly. And I think I'm going to put a little stamp. I love stamping fabric. I just love the way it comes out. It just looks great. I'll use my nail now because my fingers are so sticky. Everything is wanting to stick to them. Let's see if I've got a little, a little flower of some sort. Uh, I'm sure I have somewhere. Little 
flower and I'm just going to stamp that on the fabric Now I'm going to do this side. So I'm going to do a pocket that's that way on here. So if I find my book card that I have left, there, it's the perfect size to be able to put down a pocket. I just mark with my pencil, which I put down again. I don't know why I lose it because I put it in the same place every time. And if we just move this out of the way for a minute. Get out of the Double check the length of it. I think I am just going to go slightly shorter than I've marked that up. Just so I've got a bit of an edge. Line it up so it's straight. That's better. Um, maybe just take a smidgen off the depth of it, and it is going to be a smidge if I line that up on there. I think. Okay. Move that out of the way. And there, I've got another pocket. I'm going to round the edges of this one, I think. A new corner cutter. This one is a really cheap one I bought, but it's a bit hit and miss whether it cuts or not. Again, I'm going to go around the edges of this one in black, but first I'm going to put a curve in it. I'm using the three inch cutter again and doing it by eye. There we go. Black soot, same as on this side. Just give that Put it around the edges. nearer to the fold so they've got a bit of room at the top. Again I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. I love these little folders I just think they're so cute. Actually we are almost done with it now. They are so quick to do and they make great little great little fillers. There's so many different ways you can do them this is just one one way that I do it. You could just do three little notebooks in it. Not do any pockets, you could just do pockets. And make some nice little cards to go in them. Little mini cards. There's so many, so many different options. Okay, so that is the inside done. 
that's how it is going to finish I am going to put another pocket on here with this piece of card we've got left that'll fit on there beautifully just going to put a little curve in the top and doing it by eye and around the corners I'm really not happy about cutting anymore this one that is definitely going to be my next treat for myself it is going to be a new corner cutter it just makes them look really chewed you have to keep going over them okay this one because it's not on the inside i'm going to do with vintage photo around the edge Just soak into this card so you start off with it really dark and then by the time you stuck it down it looks a lot paler right it's soaked in as you can see it's fading already as it goes round <laughs> of the ship because it's obviously for the Voyager and uh, let's pop the ship and centralize it there okay hold that down for a second oh I like that and then I'm going to just ink in another word. Uh, where's my letters? Here we go. Let's do another word. Memo. Okay, let's stick this one down. I'm going to put it lower on the page so that whatever I prop in there, if it's a bit taller, it can. Uh, it's got room to be in there. Okay, and run down the edge, bottom edge, down the other side. Put the stopper in the glue. Yes, I remembered. And stick this one down. There we go. Just wipe off any excess glue from the edges. A bit of rub and they will come off. They ball up and come off if you've got any excess. Nicely. there we go okay so the only thing we have to do now is the front 
and I think on the front I am going to leave it quite plain but I'm going to put an eyelet in and put one of the dangles on that I made the other day. So we'll attach the fastener and for that I am going to use a piece of bed sheet that is coffee dyed that I have torn a thin strip off. And I'm just going to get, I'm just getting the threads off because you don't want loads and loads of loose threads and I keep those to decorate my paperclip dangles with. I've got a folder full. Okay. okay, so this is going to be what we use for the closure. Now I'm going to roughly need to be able to tie it in a knot and a bow. So I think about there Put a little snip in it and then tear it off. There we go. I'm going to attach that onto the back with some Fabri Tech glue. Make sure we've got it the correct way for the fold that we want. I'm going to do it slightly lower than centre. I'm going to run a, a line of fabric tack along there. In this instance, I find it easier to glue the card rather than the fabric and then roughly centralise it and glue it down onto your folder. Press it down, make sure it sticks and that is going to be the closure. So like I said, I'm going to put an eyelet in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my crocodile on the largest hole cutter, which is a 3 6 of an inch, I presume it is. I don't work in inches particularly. I know a lot of people do so okay so here I'm going to just pop a hole right in the corner there and I'm going to see if I have an eyelet which I don't at hand I shall try not to knock the camera because I am going into the drawer right where the leg is And then I'm going to attach it, I'm, I'm putting the smooth side on the outside, like so. And then popping this over the eyelet, and then give, it a, give it a squeeze, and there we have it. And then I am going to use one of the little heart shape pin charms that I made the other day and then pop that through the hole and fasten it up like so front just to really let 
make that stand out. No, maybe this one. I think that one. Let's open it out. And right along the bottom. Put this stamp on. Hold it on there for a second. Before we close it up, let's see what we can pop inside here. I have got all sorts of little bits here that can be used to go inside these little pockets. There's my, my dobber. A little oval that's been cut out of paper. No idea what it was going to be used for. Perhaps one more little ticket in there. Then we've got the Crown Perfumery Company. Maybe? No, that's too tall for that one. Put some one on the front that can go in there. We have to have the little little bits and pieces in on these ones. These are all little things that can be journaled on or used within the journal. It's a storage label one. of them just so they're not quite so stark white or cream. So I'm going to tuck right down, put that one in a little bit more, tuck that one in, there we go. That's that side. Uh, what have we got for this side? Let's just round the corners off if I can. On this. Make a little card to pop in there. This is just a print off that I've put on a uh, bit of cardstock that can be used to journal on or whatever else. I'll just tuck in there so it stays within the sides. Uh, that can go on the other side, a little application tag. in there like so and what's this one public transport ticket quite pale one that is so I'm just gonna drop a few bits here and there on it just to give it that old handled look No, let's see if it fits in this one. Oh, it's a juster. No, it's too tight. Oh, maybe it's a snug one. I think it's going to be too big actually. I don't want it sticking out. Nope, it's a juster. That's Justin. <laughs> and the identification sticker. There we go. So then we fold it up. We just give it a tie. Little bow in there. And there we have our little file folder. I'll just show you that there. Okay. And that is our little mini file folder that can be tucked into a pocket in a journal. 
and has all this extra space inside for somebody to use. If you've enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to my channel that would be super great thank you and I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks, bye!